streams and rivers in the region overrun their banks because of all the rain we've gotten recently. You see the high water levels on a river here in Somerset County. And from the eastern shore to Baltimore County and Hartford County, people still cleaning up from yesterday's powerful storm system. Yes, Janae Reese is on your corner in Bel Air with a look at the damage there. A large oak tree is now cut up in pieces after it fell and damaged multiple homes in Bel Air Tuesday night. Now the homeowners are left cleaning up the pieces and figuring out what's next. So this was the scariest damage part by far. This is our 12-year-old's bedroom. Candace Sexton looks back at the hole the storm left in her family's home. And they were upstairs for about 10 minutes and all of a sudden we heard just crash and noise. Um, it sounded just like thunder. Candace says she and her husband ran upstairs to check on their 9 and 12 year old daughters. I, I don't know the time frame of everything just because it happened so fast and now it's just a blur. What they saw was part of one of two large trees that fell straight through their daughter's room onto their deck into part of their living room leaning down There's into no their basement. Yet. The AC unit is gone. My daughter did um, get a cut on her head and some cut on her feet because she was in the room where the tree was when it fell. Outside in their backyard, debris scattered as landscaping and cleanup crews worked to get rid of two trees that fell on Sexton's home and two other residences. Yes, the one fell into the woods, this one fell into the house. As you can see, it's probably a 24 inch in diameter. Mm -hmm. It's just about kind of split both properties for all three properties. And then hit them right here. Yeah, so three properties. All three right here. Actually, a licensed daycare provider I provide services to a lot of kids in our community. I do before and after care. So at this point, I've also I've lost my house. Well, we've all lost our house, but I've lost my income with my job. But we're all okay, and that's most important. And that's what we keep just saying is, you know, we made it out okay, and our youngest got out of that room so quick, and we're really thankful for that. While it looks to be a long road ahead, Candace says she's thankful her family is safe and alive. Reporting in Bel Air, I'm Janae Reese for WJZ.